Have you ever watched an SQL tutorial, felt like you understood everything, but completely froze when you had to write a query on your own? That's because understanding SQL isn't the same thing as being able to use it. The real secret? Practice. If you want to improve fast, grab my SQL practice questions. The link is in the description. I'll explain why practice is important and share several ways you can practice your SQL skills. Why is practicing important? Because it's how you actually get better. Watching a tutorial isn't the same as doing. You might have heard the term tutorial hell if you've looked into learning any kind of programming language online. It's a concept that means you get stuck in learning tutorials. The next step after watching a tutorial is to practice by building your own thing. The same can be said about SQL. It's a skill that you build by using it. Courses often stop with the theory. You don't often get a chance to practice what you're learning. I include areas to practice the material in all of my courses, and many others do, but many other courses don't. Without writing SQL, it makes it harder to improve and remember what you learn. Your brain also builds a kind of muscle memory when it writes more queries. As you start writing SQL, you might forget the order the keywords are written in, or what function does what. But over time, as you write and practice more, you'll remember what to do and the logic that you'll need for your queries. So where can you actually practice your skills? I'll share some examples with you. The first example is Kaggle, a website that has a large range of sample datasets. Go to kaggle.com and create a free account. Search for a dataset you find interesting. I like to filter on datasets that contain CSV files, as I find those much easier to load into an SQL database. Download the CSV file or files, as sometimes there can be many. Then import them into your database of choice using your editor of choice. Once the data is loaded, start thinking of questions that you have about the data that you can use SQL to answer. For example, what was the top selling item? Which movie has the highest rating? Which team had the highest score in each season? I've used Kaggle many times to help practice my SQL skills. If you want a shortcut to practicing the right way, I've created a set of SQL practice questions you can grab from the link in the description. The second way to practice is to download a copy of your bank transactions from your bank's website and do some data analysis on them. Most online banks offer the ability to download a history of your transactions in a CSV file. You can do this, then load it into your database into a table. Then perform some real life queries on it. Where did you spend the most in last month? What are your top five highest spending categories? You can also enhance this by applying categories to your transactions, perhaps by using a lookup table with a list of categories. Another website for practicing your SQL is leetcode.com. Go to that site and filter for database problems. You'll see a range of database related problems with a title and an assessment of its difficulty. Open any of them and see the details of the problem, the structure, sample data and expected output. You can write the SQL directly in the browser here and submit it to get an answer to see if you passed or not. You can also try this on your own database on your computer by replicating the tables and data using SQL, then running the queries. I'd recommend starting with the easier problems and moving up to the advanced ones. Another option for practicing SQL is a site called 8 Week SQL Challenge. This site has 8 different practice problems for SQL. However, while there are fewer than other sites like LeetCode, the questions here are more thorough and the pages are easier to read in my opinion. Opening one of the challenges here shows an introduction, a problem statement, an ERD, the data sets for each table, an interactive SQL area, and then a range of questions for the data set. It's a pretty comprehensive page for each case study, and it's a good way to practice your skills. It's easy to watch YouTube videos or online courses and just watch them without practicing. But the real improvement comes from practicing your skills. You don't need a fancy setup, just getting a CSV file and a database is usually enough. You'll improve much faster by solving real problems. I've said that practicing is important, but you might be wondering how you use one of these datasets. You'll want to watch this video next, where I show you step by step how to download a dataset from Kaggle and load it into your SQL database, so you can start practicing today.